first off, thank you for coming. Uh, thanks for giving some time out of your day uh, to come talk a little bit of drag racing with us and uh, hear what's coming up on the 2023 program uh, for the PDRA. Uh, first off, uh, round of applause for everybody in the room. Uh, we are about to kick off uh, the 10 year anniversary. Woo! The best racers in the world race for the PDR. Uh, we saw it last week at Snowbirds. Miss Melanie Slimmy led the led the charge. out there you know really makes us feel good makes us feel special at the end of the day so first off that's a thank you from us to you all and uh, we're really looking forward to celebrating 10 years in the right way here in 2022 with the East Coast Nationals and then we roll into Virginia now at the second race of the year in April uh, as Tommy would say that should be a home run hitter throw your guns up on the racetrack at, at BMP in April because that's gonna be a good one go back to Norwalk on Memorial Day weekend and then we head back to Maryland uh, in the month of June one thing different uh, this season is we're not going to have a race in the month of July. Uh, we'll be all eyes on deck and all hands on deck for the Pro Stars event uh, that goes on in Virginia. Uh, the new all-star event that's now going into year three. Uh, we sat down earlier today uh, with our concert venue guys and uh, they're going to be back again with another concert uh, to keep the music venue side of that moving. And we've got a couple of things that are still in the works on the Night of Fire side. Uh, that could be extremely exciting uh, as we pull that off hopefully within the next couple of days and the goal is to announce that on Christmas Day if everything goes according to plan. So we'll come out of Pro Stars and start on the back half of the year uh, going back to Martin, Michigan to 131. Uh, we're now a part of their Northern Nationals event. A little quick side note on that. Uh, that event for them has been one of the largest in the facility's history for a number of years. They have a number of exhibition elements that come in, including Top Fuel. And this event for them last season uh, netted over 10,000 people in the stands. It was a packed house, and uh, they put on a heck of a show. And we were all sitting down talking about it, and we all kind of looked at each other to the right time and said, why don't we just do this with Northern Nationals? The, rate, the PDRA race was going to be called the Northern Nationals. Their whole program was that, and you know, really, they wanted to increase the value of their ticket price and their program on Northern Nationals, and we were looking for a good home, and you know, everything just worked out that way. So, you know, really, that's going to be an event that's new, sort of new to us. We've been to Martin, we've been fast there. Everybody has always enjoyed going there. It's a fun racetrack to go to, and uh, to be a part of, to be welcomed into one of their biggest races of the year, uh, we're really honored to to partner up with them on that event. So we come off of Martin, Michigan and go back to Darlington as well. So we 
making returns to some old but new tracks uh, on the 10 year anniversary schedule. And then we'll close the year out at two favorites, uh, Goliath Hunter Sports Park and at back at Virginia for the World Finals. So packed house schedule. Uh, we tried to do our best to kind of spread it out a little bit more um, with not having the national event in the July month and move that into September. So now we kind of got a really laid out nice schedule uh, and have a race pretty much once a month um, from the end of March all the way to October. So really spaced out deal. Gives everybody some time to get their programs back together if you have some unforeseen issues and need to need to call up the parts coming. Um, you have the you have the opportunity to do that and be able to still make the next race as, as we move on at the end of the year. So being able to offer that and to be able to try and give you guys a better schedule that was a key on our a key on our team of success for sure. Highlighted show to put on the best of the best that PDRA has to offer. We see we saw that this past year. You know we all huddled up in the in one of the suites and had a little bit of a kind of a hype meeting before the whole thing started. Um, but to see everybody's elements and their faces of being a part of an event like that, where it's completely different from the eight race series format, coming into a one day format and seeing how everything was completely different. It was a special event um, for those of you who were, there, who were there and took home wins and, and were a part of it. You, you felt the completely different atmosphere of that event compared to a normal <coughs> PDA, uh, PDA event. Um, as many people have known, we've had the Nitrous Wars program for a number of seasons and it went to kind of gathering points for whoever was number one qualifier, went to their engine builder that falls through to being the nitrous engine builder of the year. One thing that's kind of been left out of that is Pro Boost. And another thing that's been left out of that is Extreme Pro Style. So instead of just being nitrous wars, we still have yet to come up with a name, so don't quote me on these names. <laughs> Logos are not created. We're not that, we're not that far along with it. Uh, so we will have basically a nitrous wars program for Boost, which would be a boosted wars. And same thing for Pro Stock, which would be whatever we have the, the names come up for all three. Um, this will give us more content to make you a star. Our, our goal at the end of this deal is to have people show up and go, man, I really want to go out there and meet Melanie Slim. I really want to meet Tommy Franklin. You know, I know what car they drive. I watch it. I watch it on Flow Sports. I watch it on, on the videos that Straight Line Media does at the end of it. But Tommy could be standing right here, and Melanie could be standing right here. And I don't need to do it first as a series. And now it's time to tackle putting people in the stands to watch you guys and girls put on a show. Our whole deal this season has really taken a, an effort to put forth the way of let's put butts in the seats. You guys and girls work hard week in, week out, testing, running these yeah, exactly. um, That would be Fulton, UC, Buck, Sonny Leonard, um, all, the, all of them. Just whoever your engine builder is, everybody is now on a car shootout in Q2 and Q3. So those pairings will be the last pair of the lineup whenever it comes out in the fall function. And your drivers that, well, you may have a teammate coming that we don't know about yet. Not sure. Maybe Mike himself will never know about Mike. But at the same time, you know, you oh, gosh, he's going to tell me. Tommy Franklin and Jay Cox are my teammates for Friday nights. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let the boss man, Mr. Tommy Franklin, close us out. And uh, that way you can all wake up. You know, have somebody other than me running in, running in your ear. But thank you for your time. Uh, greatly appreciate it. We look forward to 2023 uh, seeing you on the racetrack and the racing for a championship. Big thank you to Tyler Woody for the team, as well as the rest of the team. As he alluded to, uh, it's, I just want to say thank you to everyone that contributes to the media rate, every racer, every sponsor, every spectator, just every piece that's there. Brennan and Gary, you guys have been there from the start, and we just appreciate all of that. Um, you know, it was uh, kind of a quick happening when it happened. Uh, it wasn't a, a big plan vision of what's happened, but we've taken this thing and grown it, and there's a lot of people that have been involved in growth to get it to where we're at. Um, I honestly feel like we have the best group of racers anywhere. I'm, uh, I'm team, team PDA all the way, <laughs> you know. Um, and I watch, I watch everybody when they're at other races as well. You know, we, as Tyler, we, we sat the last weekend watching the uh, Snowbirds and just, you know, pulling for our home team. And, and that's what's cool. It's cool just to watch, you, you know, you all go out and dominate everywhere that you're at. And I solely believe it's just because we have the best racers, period. Uh, the competition level is high. I'm proud of every single person that uh, just has the PDA banner on their car. And, I, and just thank you. So 
that's really all I wanted to do. You know, 10 years only happens once, and uh, you know, we're here. A lot probably didn't think that it was going to be here, and we're uh, we're just getting started. We're just taking off. This thing's going to go. Uh, you know, as time content, content, content. We hear it a lot, but uh, that's that's kind of our our time of day. It's what we do right now. So we're just going to try to feed and build. We want to build you as racers. We want you to help and proud to see where it's at and uh, excited to see where we go. So again, thank you. 2023, I'm looking forward to it. Let's go. Thank you.